Hey, love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and holy favor, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, thank you so much for opening your hearts, use your mind, as well as your soul, to soak up the knowledge that you need to know about yourself to bring you out to be the best version you can be. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification down, bell down there so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you feel like you're comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you get to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback on the content of my video or if you're letting me know about your impact the gift that has been placed upon you and how it impacted your life if you feel like the the video was very informative to you and gave you good insight and a good vibration go ahead and pass it on to somebody you think it means most or give me a thumbs up like and even share and i hope you're able to get something out of the content of my video today and thank you so much for stopping by and the beautiful meditation music I am listening to today is pure, clean, positive vibration. Meditation music for positive energy, remove negative thoughts, 959. And I will post that link in the description box below. And the video I'm doing today is uh, Twin Flame 101, when empaths, when you see God in you, when you can see and feel God in you. It's just like, to me, I feel like, when we go through an awakening, it's just like God is kissing us with his love. Even though it might be something so tragic, it, it's like a, a kill switch, basically. Well, not, actually not a kill switch of the negative vibrations that are in our lives. And it, it's just like, it's preparing us for that next chapter in our lives. And it's just like, like I was telling y'all about, I was listening to, um, Erica Badu's uh, live jazz festival and she was doing this song called Tyrone and she was talking about uh, um, the ciphers and I was talking to y'all about the other day it's like her cipher keeps moving like a rolling stone and everything and it's just like she's telling us about basically about everybody coming into awakening and it's like we're all it's like we're all being awakened around the same time it's like we're all going through things where we're, we have setbacks and we have disappointments we have death we have sorrow we have despair around us but the pain and the sorrows and the things that we experience it can be so hard but it brings such a beautiful light and it's just like God is just touching us with his love and we're opening up, we, we're stomping on new ground, we're, we're getting ready for something that we're not even really truly, we don't know if we're prepared for, but we're becoming warriors, we're, we're becoming survivors, we're not a product of anything that has came became negative, but we are, are a product of being a survivor, of being our own trademark, our own billboard to let you know, we have went through hell and back and hell and back again, but I am still here. I'm loved. I'm, you know, I have self-love. I have self-respect. I have self-confidence. I have self-strength to know that I can open my heart up and be able to send love and light to everybody, as many people as we need to, because this world is going through so much change. It's like we're going through, um, I don't know. I don't even know what kind of word you can even think of it, but it's like basically a battle of hell. Hell versus evil, evil, you know, hell, not hell versus evil, good versus evil. And it's just like we're going through so much where God needs us to be these soldiers. He needs us to be strong, stand in our conviction, be use discernment, you know, have good judgment, but don't judge. Allow that love to be processed through your body. Allow everything that, that has been shut down and been asleep for so long, allow it to be awakened. Allow it to blossom. You just never know where that might take you. And it's just like we go through every day trying to understand where is our path leading us. And we really don't know. But we know it could be through something positive if we hold that trust in the universe, have that faith in the universe, that things will be better for us. That knowing that all the sacrifices and the pain and the tears that we have had and the bloodshed was not in vain. 
there was a purpose behind everything you've been through and it's bad that we had to go through something so traumatic to bring out such a positive change when you know that you can look no longer look at life as being feeling sorry for yourself or you know knowing there's dread or whatever even though the the sun's not shining today you can still have a smile on your face and know okay if today's not a good day I can always start all over again for tomorrow it's never too late you don't have to be a certain age to do that you're never too old to learn so allow yourself the gift of love from God allow that to lead you towards your path allow that to lead you to be the best version of your the person you can actually be don't fight it you know, study up on the things you need to study up on. Allow yourself to be able to lead yourself towards something and open your, your hearts to the things that seem foreign before. Even though they're not foreign to you, you've done this before. Your higher self knows it. So allow yourself and your higher self to be aligned. And feel the God in you and keep pushing that, that positivity. So I hope you were able to get something out of this video. Sorry it was so short. But hey, I do what I gotta do when they say I gotta do it. So I hope you were able to get something out of this video. Let the God of love, the, the love of God, actually, I'm saying stuff backwards. Let the love of God be released in you. Allow the pain and the sorrow to be released as well. Let go of anything that is no longer serving you. Allow yourself to shed the faucets that you need to shed. And I will talk to you later. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my video. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or just give me a positive feedback about the video. If you feel like it puts you in, you know, a good place, go ahead and pass it on to the next person you think that might need it. So now, as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, truly loved, and know there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you next time. Peace and be wild.